put a headband on a wig, nobody's ever going to know that you have a wig. And this isn't a wig, this is a top. This topper was sent to me for review by Wig Studio One, so I could review it for the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. And I am going to give you a sneak preview on my channel today. The video that I've done for Wig Studio One probably won't be up until next week or so. So before I put her on my head, I wanted to give you a really close look at her the inside of her cap. Now it's a minimal cap because this is for someone who doesn't have a tremendous amount of hair loss up on the up on the crown. You're the person who has thinning hair all along the hairline and so it's just right there front and center and it shows. It's got about an inch and a half of area covering wetting covering the hairs underneath. It also has a beautiful generous mono top you can see there. So if you don't want to part her straight right down in the middle, you can do it a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, um, wherever it looks best on you. And then she has that gorgeous temple, truly temple to temple lace front. Look at that. You're going to see that in a minute when I put it on. As far as I can tell, I see no permittees under that area of lace that you see right there. She's going to sit flat on your head and she's got one, two, three, four clips. Now I will share with you that I have already put her on. I wanted to see how I liked her and what I wanted to share with you and I love her. I absolutely love her. She's a tiny bit longer than my hair right now um, but that doesn't matter. I could still let my hair grow out or I could cut it if my hair if I decided I wanted my hair shorter. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna aim the, aim the bangs at yourself, turn it inside out, aim the bangs at yourself, put your thumbs right over these two clips and then just tip your hair back. And I already know the bangs are kind of long on me. I have a very short forehead. So I'm pulling the wig probably further up than I normally would just so that you, you can get the, the right view of it. So I've got her pretty much where I want her. And now I'm just gonna take that front clip and I'm gonna keep my hands right here and just kind of gently push down and then clip, beautiful clips. Not hard to, to work with at all, not too tight generous enough to to catch the amount of hair they have to catch. Okay, so now I have two clips done and I should have turned around for you, but I have a, I, my hair is pulled back in a ponytail and I have one of those teeny tiny little rubber bands in it. So I'm gonna pull that rubber band out now before I clip the other two in the back of the topper. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hold it right here, right in the middle. And then I'm gonna go try to find that other comb, pull back and then push up and clip. There's one more over on the other side. Pull back, push up, and clip. Okay, so all of the combs are clipped. Now you can see how long it is. For Beltress, this is the very first of their toppers with bangs already cut in. This color that I'm wearing is Roca Margarita Blonde, which to me is a beautiful, beautiful, um, shall we say compromise between blonde and gray. Uh, those of us who like silver gray white, if that's you, you're probably going to find that you can wear Roca Margarita Blonde and you, you probably will like her. Um, of course, you're not going to know until you try, but I never purchased anything with the word blonde in it ever and uh, until I learned about Roca Margarita Blonde. So you can see how long the bangs are. And I'm hoping that my light is catching. The correct color. I'm going to do a spin for you in a minute. Her fibers are absolutely. Luxurious. That would be the word. You could see that she is straight, not a curl to be found, not a wave to be found. It fits very comfortably. It's very, very comfortable. Um, let me see if there's, I'm looking at the specs over here, if there's anything about how weight, it's 3.4 ounces. So not too bad for all of this hair. And so there you can see the bangs right there. And there's the edge of my hairline. Okay, there, right there, is the edge of my hairline. So, normally, um, 
I might use a little bit of It Stays just right up there, but I'm thinking I might not even have to because it feels very secure. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. The bangs are a little bit long, but that certainly could be rectified with just clipping them. Okay, so let me do the spin for you. Now, when I, after, when I turn around, you're going to see how the white in my hair, you're going to see it kind of peek underneath this hairpiece. That's okay. It doesn't have to match perfectly. If you've got white in your hair, it's, I know people who absolutely go gray like that. They, they've got all kinds of white with this exact color um, in their natural hair. Now you can see she, she is looking, in my monitor, she's looking a little dark right here, almost as if she's rooted. It's not rooted. It's just how the blending of the colors look. I will try to get outside so that I can show you this in the daylight. It's, we're getting a little late, but the sun is still out. Okay, so let me do a spin for you. Isn't that beautiful? Now my hair, let me pull up my... And it's fine. It's fine. Remember that this cap is only sitting right up here. Your hair is going to show like normal right up at the top of your ears, right up at the top of the ear tab. So it's going to give you a very, very natural, natural look. So let me just say, if you're someone who thinks that they're too old to wear a long hair, may I respectfully say, I don't think so. You could do so many things. Let's say you don't want the long hair just hanging down on your face or, you know, or that gorgeous California beach girl look. Well, you could, you could pick it up just like I just did um, and get it off of your get it off of your neck or you could even do some braids now I don't think she's long enough to do a side braid that would be nice but so but you could do some nice braids at the side or let's see what happens if we do it if we wanted to do a side ponytail I know my hair is long enough so this should be okay so you certainly could bring it a little back behind your ear do a beautiful side ponytail you've got a really lovely event there's all kinds of things that you could do with this topper because she's going to behave very much like your own hair when you had your own hair. And remember, it's going to stop right around there. So everything else is your hair. Whether your hair is light blonde, whether your hair is gray. Well, if it was a charcoal gray, I don't think that it would look good. But if it's a white gray or a silver gray, I think that you'd be okay. One other style, I, one other style I'd love to show you is just put one of these uh, headbands on, the ones with the little knot on the top. These are terrific because they have a little wire at the bottom and it's not hard you know how usually when you're used to putting on a headband after a while it starts to hurt behind your ears that very tender area behind your ears but um, no and uh, I'll leave a link below where you can get these headbands but they come in a bunch of different colors this one happens to be black and white but look at how great it looks with this with this uh, hair piece and I've just kind of pushed it back pushed the bangs back uh, before I had, as you saw, I had some clips back there, but I love this. I love this look as well. So get yourself some of these headbands. You're going to love these. Put a headband on a wig. Nobody's ever going to know that you have a wig. And this isn't a wig. This is a topper. Oh, and one other thing before I go. Let's see what happens if I wanted to part her. Remember, we've got that one inch space, that generous monofilament. So if I did want to just take it a little bit from there. Let's see see if it'll allow me to do that. Instead of having it right smack down the center, that actually helps with the bangs a little bit too. So if we did it that way, we could have more of a side part, couldn't we? Just pull this down. And then again, I think I probably would have to train it so this part here isn't going to fall, fall forward, but that's easy enough to do. But just to give you an idea of what you could do, I, I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous topper. I've showed you, I could wear two different kinds of glasses. I can wear these, sorry about the ring light. And, um, and then I can also wear 
my other glasses that you saw me with. These are these are my lightweight glasses. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like toppers? Do you like long toppers? It is heat friendly, so I probably could train that uh, to go where I want it because I really do prefer a side a side part. Maybe you like a center part. It's all what you want. And again, you can you could part it a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, depending upon what your preference so, is. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. Let me know I what you think. Say. And uh, as I said, the full review will be up on Wig Studio One, hopefully in a week or so. I hope that you'll like, I hope that you'll subscribe because very soon I'm going to be reviewing this very same topper in chrome. So that's exciting. It's more of a truer gray for those of us who want the silver gray white type of color combination. One other thing I wanted to quickly add, remember I did not use any It Stays on the front of this topper. I usually do. This is a first for me. No, it stays needed. I might put it there if I know I'm going to have it on virtually all day long because I'm going to be combing at it and yanking on it and, and all that. Um, so, no, it stays on this one. If you're having difficulty putting on your toppers, I have a video that I've done for you there. Truly, it was a learning curve for me. So, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.